you know, Jim, I was hoping to take a step back. Uh, you know, we're about half an hour into this thing and got a few minutes left. But, you know, you're not a geologist, you're not an engineer, uh, but you ended up in the mining industry anyways. And mm -hmm. I was hoping to learn a little bit more about, you know, why mining? I know you come from an investor relations and a marketing background. What brought you into this industry in particular and, and having stayed here for, for decades? When I, I attended the British Columbia Institute of Technology, which you may have heard of in Burnaby, of course, British yeah. Columbia, and I took a marketing management program there. It was an entrepreneurship or small business development program. And leaving, leaving the school the last month, I was in this full scale panic about what job I, like I wanted my life to be laid out for me then and I was I wanting it all done. And it's amazing now for me to look back on that and, and see how wrong I was. But I, I was interested in getting into commodities and commodities trading and didn't even know what that meant. And I realize that now. And I did meet a friend of, um, through a friend of mine, um, I tried to get some information through his father on the commodities sector okay. and trading because he worked for a publicly listed company in Vancouver is trading on the Amex and the Toronto Stock Exchange. And he did not return my calls. However hard uh, your I friend's dad would not return your calls. No. Nope. But um, finally Are you still I, friends with this guy? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm still and I'm still friends with the entire family. Like they're 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 amazing. Uh, but anyways on the 20th time his uh, receptionist put me through to him and he said you're so annoying you should come down and do investor relations for me. <laughs> And so he actually didn't return my calls, but he gave me my first job. And uh, I worked out of a closet, cold calling U.S. stockbrokers. And it went, um, it didn't go that well for the space. I started in 1997. And, you know, I didn't even think that um, the mining space could be positive until, you know, 2006. But whatever, I stayed at it. And in 2002, I started working with the group I'm in now with John Robbins and a, a gentleman named Bruce McLeod who runs mm -hmm. Spina. So I worked with those two guys. So it's pretty amazing people that I sort of um, started working with uh, at, in this leg from 2002 on. And what, what, what was it that attracted you to joining this group in particular? You know, you would have been coming into a hot, starting to come into a hot market at that point. There were probably, you know, significantly more opportunities than had previously been in the space. Why these guys? Why join up with John and, and Bruce? Well, even like looking back on it now, I think you could see it was pretty obvious that the market was in an uptrend, but you know, starting in 1997, pretty much everything was down, 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 down. And yeah. in fact, psychologically, I was pretty beaten up and probably didn't recognize, uh, probably didn't recognize that the market was turning. I just thought it would always be terrifying. Um, but you know, I was, I've got a good self-esteem and uh, was fairly extroverted and I knew, I knew they were really good guys. Um, I knew they were really talented and um, Bruce McLeod executes like none other, like he's an amazing guy. And I recognize that. And um, John executed in a very different way. You know, he's a, uh, he's a different type of leader, but you could tell that he, he was always going to pull a rabbit out of his hat. And, and he kind of had magic in that way that he just, uh, he was just well respected because people knew that he would do something amazing um, at some point. And he did it so many times along the, the times that I've been working with him that, you know, that, that was proven to be true, but I could, you know, I was, I, I could, I could see that those guys were super talented and I was lucky to work with them. That's why I decided to do so.